the American Cardiological and Allied Societies have published updated guidelines for the prevention and optimal treatment of atrial fibrillation. Dr. Jacquelar highlighted the new classification of atrial fibrillation as one of the important stages. The classification is outlined as follows. Stage 1. Presence of risk factors indicating a risk of developing atrial fibrillation. Stage 2. Preatrial fibrillation with evidence of structural or electrical abnormalities predisposing individuals to atrial fibrillation. Stage 3. Atrial fibrillation including paroxysmal, persistent, long-term persistent, and after successful atrial fibrillation ablation, and stage 4, permanent atrial fibrillation. Personally, the classification in the updated guidelines seems like a futile exercise to me. In fact, stages 1 and 2 have been introduced, while stage 3 encompasses all recognized forms of atrial fibrillation, excluding permanent atrial fibrillation classified as stage 4. The assignment of successful ablation excludes delivery to stage 3 atrial fibrillation raises doubt. This prompts a crucial question. Do these stages refer to the conditions chronological development or varying degrees of its severity? The recognition of atrial fibrillation as a disease continuum is a questionable, particularly when considering its classification as a syndrome in other medical conditions. It is possible to diagnose permanent atrial fibrillation as the initial manifestation. Following the diagnosis of atrial fibrillation, certainty regarding whether it is permanent or long-term persistent become uncertain. Successful lateral fibrillation ablation can lead to the elimination of it for decades. Clinical examples demonstrate instances where paroxysmal atrial fibrillation can be more clinically severe than persistent, and persistent can be more severe than permanent, and so on. In addition, is it possible or not to find out which patients with heart disease without atrial fibrillation may not have the future to diagnose stage 2 and especially stage 1 of it. I open consulting my colleague from Ashkelon, Vladimir Shlachavir, he also expressed that the classification appears to be inconclusive. Thanks for likes and sharing.